What's up everyone, it's Sira. I wanted to hop in and give a big update and overview of what's been going down in the Sims community. We all know The Sims 4 Growing Together is dropping this Thursday, March 16th, and I have a list of stuff to talk about from new traits, events, lots, and much more. There has been some talk, but it is confirmed we will not be getting scrapbooks, but keepsake boxes that can be handed down from generations, which I think is pretty cool considering we have nothing like this in the game. And here's a look at the new world we are getting. Um, there's not that many lots to build on, unfortunately, and no apartments. I was hoping we would get some new apartments. I'm more than a little disappointed. We are getting the rec center slash library that's coming with a few new build buy items like the changing table that I am personally excited for. We need a new community lot. We need all these new items. And I'm especially excited for the splash pad and the friendship bracelets. Sim Guru Morgan tweeted out, the splash pads are really fun to design on your own home. Lots too. You have three emitters plus a variety of different pads in various colors. You even have your own at home Wilbur. You can be placed in fountains. I can't wait to put my own Wilbur in my backyard. Baby gates and play areas are coming our way and we will be able to build them wherever inside or outdoors and our toddlers will be able to escape like the little terrors that they are and cause chaos. Now let's hop into aspirations and much more. We have four new kids aspirations coming. We have slumber party animal, mind and body, playtime captain, and creative genius. Here's some of the very new likes and dislikes sneak peek. We have been needing an upgrade for some time now, so this is so refreshing to see. Kids traits will now carry over into adulthood, which is huge. I cannot believe we are finally getting this. It has been so long. Sim Guru Morgan tweeted, the designer for the toddler quirks did some extra work around occults and toddler quirks. You're more likely to get these quirks if you're corresponding occult, mere folk obsessed with water, werewolf destructive, vampire aggressive, and spellcaster loves books. Also, Sim Guru Nova tweeted, fun note about workplace rivals. If you try to sabotage them, you'll get unique messages theme after every possible career. She says, I wrote a decent chunk of them and she will share some of those soon. Kids will be able to have high or low confidence. Adults are getting midlife crises, which I am so here for. Adults can also get additional trait opportunities by self-discovery. Toddlers and infants are getting 18 quirks. Six baby traits, cautious, sensitive, calm, intense, wiggly, and sunny. Looks like infants will also be getting three different milestones, fine motor, gross motor, and first. Holy cow, I am so excited for this. We also have some new events coming to us, slumber party, baby shower, and also family reunion. We've learned some pretty cool stuff over the past couple days, including when the sim gurus tweet out stuff like this. All infants and toddlers have them when they grow into that age. It's more so of a matter of discovering the quirks that they already have. It'll sometimes happen naturally or through specific interactions with them, and sometimes it might require them to have reached certain milestones. She also said there are some good ones. When you become an occult, you get one. But there are also some for more memorable moments like fighting Greg. Oh my gosh, I love that so much for us. We are obviously, as you can see, getting some new social interactions like small talk, affection, complaints, deep thoughts, hobbies, interests, which is really cool that they're splitting all this up like this. I also wanted to go back to the friendship bracelets because I kind of just skimmed over them really quickly. Um, obviously, your sims can make them and exchange them. They can also wear them just for themselves. You can demand them back if you're going through some stuff with your bestie. Also, tooth fairy certificates are coming our way along with marriage certificates to remember that special day. Finally, all sims will be able to have babies without the use of mods. I cannot wait to have Bob Pancakes and Jeffrey Landgraf have a baby together and live their best lives. If you haven't already, please watch The Sims live stream that they did not too long ago to get every little detail we have coming to us because it is a lot. I can promise you that. 
I hope everyone enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And as always, I hope everyone has a good day, afternoon, night, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!